Hey everyone. Well, I want to let everyone know about a truck I'm very likely buying. Um, remember how I told you guys about that Mint 87 Toyota truck I really, really wanted? And pretty much someone took it from me a few days before I was going to buy it. After staring at the computer for a day, maybe even a day and a half, just staring at pictures of it for hours on end, saying to myself, Fuck, I really wanted that truck. Why did I wait so long to get it? Um, I ended up just calling the guy and said, hey, yes, I pulled down to listening for 87, expecting he'll say, yeah, it's sold, and he did, but he also said he has a truck that's in better condition. It's a 1985 Toyota truck, um, SR5, fuel injection, solid front axle. The 85s are my favorite, and it's 100% stock. He sent me some pictures of it, and it's in beautiful condition. So the first thing I'm going to do is pretty much take all the off-road stuff off my 90 and put on the 85 since it's more capable for off-road solid front axle. I'm going to take the push bar from it, the off-road wheels, the roll bar, and I think that's pretty much about it. So, and then I'm going to probably do a, at least a 4 inch lift on that might go as high as a 6 inch lift. So, I might end up just doing a 4 inch lift and 4 inch suspension lift and doing a 2 inch body lift. So, I'm at least going with 33s. I might go as high as 35s. If I go with 33s, I'm doing 48 gears front and rear. If I go with 35s, I'm doing 512s. Um, if I go with 35s, I'm doing Detroit, Detroit lockers. If I go with 33s, I'll just do D Detroit two tracks. And I'm really excited about it. I mean, this is pretty much a truck of my dreams. A stock, solid front axle truck I could build up any way I want. So, I'm really excited. I mean, the only reason I haven't lifted my truck yet it's because lifting the IFS Toyota truck is a real pain in the butt. That's why I haven't done it. I mean, the rear is fine, but the front's just a pain in the butt. That's why I was actually thinking about body lifting it for a while. Because it's so much easier. So, that's pretty much about it. I'll give you guys some updates as time gets closer. But, the guy hasn't listed it yet, and hopefully he won't list it, and giving me a chance to buy it. It'll only take a few days for me to get the money, but I'm really excited. I mean, I can't wait. This is the best news all day. After a pretty crappy day, this is a great end to it. So, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to say about it. Um, the only way I'm pretty much not buying it, and I might even still buy after this, if it has power windows. I mean, if it has power windows, I might just forget it, because I hate first generation power windows, because they are very much prone to failure. But, you know, worst case, I guess I could, could convert it back to, you know, manual windows. I really hope it's not an extended cab because I don't like the extended cabs very much. It just gives you extra blind spots. It gives you more space, but just more blind spots. So, I hope this truck's not too nice for me because the truck's probably going to get used and probably a little bit beat up. So, I'm really excited. I really, I was kind of hoping for a carbureted truck because I kind of like carburetors better than first generation fuel injection because you know carburetors are pretty easy to work on and fuel injection one thing goes out and does give you check engine light it could be a shitload of stuff so anyways over and out